hi guys in this video we're gonna see how to implement redux so first of all i have included the libraries that we need we need redux and react redux so you can install it from your know, dependency and typing the name that you want that redux and the same as react redux now uh, first of all why we need these two libraries so redux as you know that we need Redux implementation and also React Redux because that's how React will be connected to the Redux code. Now, in here, if you using uh, the VS Code, so you have to just type in npm space i space Redux space React Redux, and so that it will be installed in one go. Now, in here, I have also used uh, and created a new folder called redux so that it will look nice and we have created two new folder again inside the redux called action redux reducer and store.js so why we made this we're gonna see why it all have been made so now first of all we're gonna see in our input field in here hi, what i have used i have created this on submit and this dot handle submit so that it will call this handle submit uh, function so now in here what happens that whenever you call this method it will call anything that is written inside this code and it will be reflected back to this react app and you will see so, so look you will see that we, we will have a list in here so how we do this so basically we're gonna see how can we do this so in here i in action we, i have made created a new fold new file called add to do's.js what ha what happens in here that uh, let's see what happens in here so first of all what we're gonna do i'm going to use export const and i'm going to give a function call in here and the parameter i will give i'm just simply writing a function just you have to know that i am simply writing the function in here and returning something because this bracket as you know this is a returns small uh, return so we're gonna just return this is the same as that i'm going to this is the same thing like whenever you type in in here return this is the same thing that what I am doing in here. So what I'm doing in here, I'm going to return an object. So what, so I'm going to return an object. Now in, in here, I have used this type key and also there is one payload. So payload is to be payload. So basically, I'm going to uh, change this payload parameter uh, to the name is to do. So we are sending. So what happens that this function, this for method, will be called by this handle summary. So it will look like this: that we're gonna use add to do, and we're gonna send this to do. Uh, object or to do name inside it so let's forget about this what i'm going to see in here let's see in here so in here i have said to do and giving the payload name as a to do now what's a type we're gonna see what's a type so basically i'm going to write a string in here what it is we're gonna see right now so this is the action that we're gonna do this is the method that we're gonna call whenever we handle submit whenever we send the data from this handle submit button now let's see now in here this is the reducer part and this is the important part because we're gonna see why it is so now in here i'm going to use uh, you can give the name anyone and you want i'm going to give this name ad just it looks good so i have go, given the name a to do dot reducer dot js so i'm going to also change the name of a to do to a to do action dot js 
now just save it now in here first of all we have see that we made some state so this is the initial state that i'm going to make and in initial state what i'm going to give the to do to be first of all it will be a null okay or we're gonna see it's a, an array what it is inside there is nothing inside first of all now in here what i'm going to do we're going to export const add to do this is a function that we're going to call we'll take two parameter that is state this is the state and the default parameter that i'm going to give initial state and the action okay what i am going what i am doing in here what it is that this state as you can see and this action this action basically is this one this action so what i'm going to write inside this code is to check that which action that we're going to call so how can we check so in redux we use this action dot type so basically it's checking for this action dot type and yeah we have sent this type to be add to do now it will check for many actions that's why we have used this type uh, keyword so that it will check which uh, type of action that you want to check so in here in our case we're going to see this add to do right and the strings to be same so that it will call correct now i'm going to return something from here and we will see later and here first of all we're going to default as you know in any programming language we need this default keyword and in return it's going to return the same state now in here if you don't know the spread operator just uh, see this that it's basically it's uh, that we're going to return the object this object but first of all it will spread all the uh, you can say all the content inside this state so basically in our case this is only one this is to do's so it will spread this to do's so we can type in here to do's and in here what we know that it's gonna we need state so basically it's checking for the previous state as you know that whatever thing inside this to do's and what we need in we need concatenation or you can give the push push method i'm going to give concat and i'm going to push this concat payload so yeah this is the thing that you have to know that uh, whatever the payload that we can we give, get from this action this is the thing that we have done in here so whatever the action payload that we get i'm going to uh, push the content inside this state and it's going to return a new content new state basically so this is the thing that we have made but we have just made the what we can say we have just made the reducer or state or we have made the accent that we're gonna call but uh, this is not right now connected to our Redux react code so in our store.js this is the you can say the powerhouse of the state as you know as you can see so in here what we need we need basically a uh, create store and from where we will get we will get from redux of course so in here from redux what we need we need create store and we need apply middleware this is middleware i'm gonna say that uh, we will see right now yeah so this is the apply middleware so what's apply middleware we're gonna see but uh, just import it for now and in here i'm going to const store 
and it, I'm going to export it. Basically, what it is, why I have said this is the powerhouse for the state because all the state, because all the state that we're gonna give is going to store in a bulk way in here. It will be stored inside a store met a store const. And how can we do this? We can do this using create store. This is basically, um, we are saying that we are creating a store in here. So what we need, we need, as you can see that we need a reducer. So we know that the reducer, we need add to do reducer, right? We have made, so I'm going to just import it. And now we need some enhancer any enhancer that you can give. we can just simply look down but we need uh, basically if you want to debug any of your code so basically you need this apply middleware so what we can give in here so for this we are going to install one more dependency that's called redux logger so yeah, this is the Redux logger as you can see in here. So just, I have installed it for VS Code. Like if you're using VS Code, for this, you have to use NPMI Redux logger. That's how you can install it in your VS Code. Now in here, you just have to give in here logger. If you type in here logger, it will be basically in, used in here. So this is how it's gonna be done. Now we have made the store, we have made the action, we have made the reducer. What we need next is to provider. So what's provider in here? So basically the provider you can say is a uh, root component so that anything that we have we are going to provide is going to get inside all this field so here we don't know if we need this yeah we no no, no. here we don't know this we can give in here but uh, uh, the best place to give any component is to be basically it's you can say best practices as you can say so in index.js will be the best place to give in here. So in here, you can give the provider method. In provider, you can give the store. And if you type in, in here, basically in the VS code also, you can get this IntelliSense as you can see in here that we got IntelliSense uh, in here. So we can just use it here. And I'm going to just wrap it up. Yeah. So this is done. Now, what we need next is we have given the index.js, all the storage, all the bulk of state inside it. As you can see in here that we got some to-dos, but we haven't seen uh, how can we gonna call this method. So that's how we got one more connect this connect we got from react readers so basically i have said it what does react redux does it's like giving the code react code to the redux so it's basically a bridge between react and redux so what we need we're gonna use this you can see double function method as you can see you can learn in uh, learn in google that how can we do this so it's uh, like higher order component so in here you can give here, here two argument we have been given so first argument is map state to props so basically from this map state to props what we get we get the state okay. and from map space to props is that how we're gonna call a function or an action 
so we don't know need this map state props for now because we're gonna call map dispatch props so in here i'm going to use create a map dispatch to props and we need this dispatch and it's going to return some return some object and by returning some object as you know we're gonna use add to do so basically dispatch means like we are dispatching some action so it's add to do is an key and we're gonna reach give a to do as a parameter and we're gonna use dispatching this add to do we are extend yeah we have used add to do okay we have we don't need add to do dot reducer we need add to do dot action so in here i'm going to check that which one yeah we need this one so yeah we have got this add to do dot action so in here i'm going to call this to do now if we just going to call in here so now what, what we get in the class that we have changed this dispatch to a props and the props name is add to do and the thing that we are gonna send is this dot state dot to do so i'm going to save it now it's time for seeing this in action now back to your react app and just seeing that it happens or not okay just go to your console because in here you're gonna see in here in action that's why we have used this logger one so like we're gonna use it okay just type in here as you can see in here that we got an action so this is this is what we are seeing is not because of react redux this is because of we have used the middleware called logger so it's logging out all the actions all the payload that we have given so in here you can see that we have called a payload uh, payload that you have given in here and the type add to do so this is basically seeing which action that you have called and in uh, in here you can see that we have added one this uh, to do's now if you see again we can call again and again and it will be stored inside it so we have cross like we have do one thing that we have made it made redux we have made the action we have made reducer we have also made the store and we have also send one action we have dispatch one action now let's see how can we use this map stack to props that we have used so now you can see how how we can use map state to props that which component that we need map state to props so in the next videos i'm going to create new folders such as uh, to do's list and to do's so that the to do's will be in here so that's that's all thanks so let's see in the next video